Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, I ended up ordering the Stella McCartney jacket. So this is a size, I think a 48. Hold on. Yeah, this is a 48. I was going to try a 46, but I couldn't find one anywhere. So I ordered the 44. And when I put it on, it was definitely, honestly, it, it just, it kind of fit, but I didn't like the, like, the snugger look. I mean, maybe a 46 would be perfect, but I think I still like the 48 enough to keep it. Um, let's just try it on again. Maybe I should go to the tailor, because I think if I went to the tailor, and like, if it was just in at the shoulders, a tiny, tiny bit, like, I like the bigger shoulders. Maybe I'll take it to the tailor and just have him bring the sleeves up, and I don't know if he can bring the shoulders in at all. But I know I had definite mixed reviews on this, but I think I like it. Even though it's big and boxy, and I know you guys think... I got several comments about the fact that, like, I should size down and close in general sometimes. But one, I think sometimes I like the oversized fit. And two, so I am definitely smaller on the bottom than on the top. And I, so I like to wear tighter things on the bottom. And so when I wear tighter things on the bottom, I don't want to wear something tight on the top because that's too tight. So I end up airing on the side of bigger. And I do agree that sometimes I end up with things that are just too big. But I may just take, I think I'm going to keep this and take it to the tailor and see what they can do with it. You know, I really should do that this afternoon, but who has time? I met a couple friends for lunch. It was really nice. Um, it was three of my, well, kind of work colleagues. Two that I work directly with and one that I just know through that group and we've known each other a long time. Um, so it was really, it was nice to catch up with them. Uh, and now I've been home, like, polishing, like, I got some feedback on my resume, so I made the updates on that, and, um, yeah, now I'm just home, and I thought I would, so as I mentioned before, is it, so, you know, I got this package from Tory Burch. This is, I think the packaging, I've never ordered anything right from Tory Burch, but I think this is lovely. So, I had done a little try-on in one of my recent videos, and I had tried on, oh, there's two of them here. So this was the dress I wanted to try on, this pattern, this print, whatever, but they didn't have this dress in my size. So I, in my try-on, I tried on another dress that they said was similar in fit, but was in like kind of a lighter white color. But that wasn't the color I wanted. So I actually ordered this in two sizes so we can try this on together. Well, you know, I'll show you the try-on. And then I had also tried on this skirt. I did hem and haw about this skirt. Because I have been wanting, like, I like this shape of skirt, and I have been looking for one. But I really wanted more of, like, a gray or a neutrally kind of color. I didn't really want this color. Um, so anyway, we'll try it on and see what we decide. So hold the phone. Okay, so let's see. So, yeah, it's a really cute skirt. Um... I really like the details. I like the pockets. I like that it's an A line. I like the length. It's a tiny bit snug right at the waist, but that's because like it fits me perfectly here and I'm thicker at the waist. Like my proportions are not what one, you know, the standard proportions are for my hip size. The waist would be thinner. Um, but yeah, it's really, it's cute. Okay, so that's the skirt, and then I have the dress in two sizes. So. Okay, so here's the dress. Now, this is, I ordered it in a 12 and a 14, because when I was there, I tried on the 14 in the other, like, lighter floral print. And I was, thought that the 14 was probably too big. 
you guys always tell me I think I'm bigger than I am but so I ordered the 12 and the 14 and this is the 12 and I think this is plenty big because this is oversized anyway um, I definitely don't think I need it bigger but I really like it I like the um, this is actually like an all weight like this is kind of an all year kind of dress because it's a, it's just a blouse material but you know you can layer it like in the winter like you know wear a sweater over it or whatever um, but honestly you could wear this like through definitely into the spring and everything but what I was thinking I don't know if it's as short as I would have wanted for that I was thinking I would wear it with like the over into the knee boots or maybe with booties but it, actually I could also wear it with tights and like little pumps if I wanted to be professional um, so this is a good, like, well-rounded dress. I can get a lot of use out of this. So I'm going to keep this. Obviously, I'm going to send the bigger size back. Um, yeah. Actually, I have one of... I didn't put both of them on, but I have one of the boots on. And I think it will be cute with the over-the-knee boots. I've still been deciding if I should keep this gray pair. I do have these boots in navy, and... You know, I can definitely wear the navy ones with this dress or the gray ones. So I can't decide. I might really just send the gray ones back. Because in the world of gravy, gravy, <laughs> in the world of navy and gray, I feel like they can generally be interchangeable, at least in terms of what I would wear them with. Um, so I might just take send the gray ones back. As much as I like them. I just don't wear the over-the-knee boots, I think, enough to warrant having them in two different colors, despite the fact that last winter I kept saying, I wish I had these in gray. I don't know. But they look good with this dress, so. See, I've also got, like, here's the, the shoes, here are the shoes I'm planning to take so far. This is the pile of bags I think I'm going to take, plus my Chanel, uh, well, plus the Gucci Vermont bag, which I'm carrying, plus a, I have a Chanel black tote that I think will be good for, like, work kind of stuff. Like, just, I've got stuff everywhere. So where do I want to perch myself is the question. Um, oh, God. I've got toiletries in this box that's like on my couch. And then to top it all off, my building is um, like mid next week, they're carpet cleaning. Like they steam clean the carpets annually. And so, oh my God, I got boxes everywhere. And so I've got to have like stuff off of the floor for that. I might call her and see if she can schedule it for after I leave. So, okay, so life update. Can I perch this here, I wonder? Ugh. You know, while we're on the topic of me futzing around with my camera. No, this is not gonna work, hold on. Okay, I am testing this new camera out that I just got, because my other one I broke. Um, in the varied feedback that I often get, one of the things was that I don't look in the camera, but that's because here's the monitor, so I'm looking at myself in the monitor to make sure I've got myself in the monitor. Instead of looking, I think if I look this way, that's looking in the camera, like in the lens. But anyway, so bear with me as I test this out. <sighs> But I have been in a frenzy. And I think what I may do now is give you my, the life update that I keep talking about. Um, and actually, so I'm in the throes of like packing. I mean, I'm not packing up my whole apartment, but packing what I want to take with me to New York. So I'm starting to put accessories here. I'm throwing like, who cares, whatever. I'm throwing some stuff in that bag. I've got to pull the suitcases out. 
I've got nonsense all over my bed. I've got to figure out what's staying, what's going. I think these, those coats out there, this pile of stuff, this pile of stuff, plus everything that's like, actually most of this I want to go with me. So it's kind of a mind cramp. Plus that doesn't even factor in all the um, jeans and like other stuff I have to take. I just, I don't know, I'm stressed. But okay, how do we wanna do this? You know what, hold on, let me set myself up. Okay, I think this is a little better. Um, so, while we're on me fussing around with my camera, you know, I just wanted to, this is not to do with my life update. So I, you know, when I get the feedback about my vlogs are shaky or I'm not looking into the camera, you know, I think there's a delicate balance. Like, I guess it depends on what you want to watch. I am not a professional vlogger, blogger, anything. I just do it as a hobby because I enjoy it. Um, like, I like the community we have. I like to share my shopping escapades with you guys. And I kind of do it because I appreciate other people that do the same thing. So I'm paying it forward in a way, I guess. <laughs> but I also like other, I like to watch videos that are not professionally made because there are people's true opinions, what they're spending their money on. And while I do truly credit, there are a lot of people on YouTube that now make a living at it and they have like teams of people that help them and they have sponsorships and all this other stuff. To me, that changes their message, even as hard as they might try for it not to. So um, anyway, you know, but I don't know that you can get, a, get the best of all worlds, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So therefore, this is what we're gonna get with me. Me trying to figure things out sometimes with you guys. Sometimes there's gonna be a shaky hand. Sometimes I'm not gonna be looking right at the camera. So okay, now that that's out of the way. So the life update. There are weird things flashing at me. Let me make sure this is working. Okay, I think it was working. So okay, on to my life update. So back in May or June, I did a video about, you know, big changes in my life, and I'll, you know, link to that here if I can. But the gist at the time was, so many of you probably remember, so I worked for an investment manager for over nine years, and I loved my job. I really did. And I, if you had asked me, you know, this time last year, if I had any inkling that I wouldn't, that I'd be leaving my job, I would have said, you're crazy. But you know, life happens and you start to really examine what you're doing with your life. I'm gonna get teary-eyed. Um, and just I decided I wanted to be closer to my family. I've been in Boston 21 years and I know that because this weekend is my 20 year graduate school reunion. Um, and so, I don't know, like, I've always had an inkling that I wanted to move to New York City, especially because my siblings were there, and for a long time they were both in Manhattan, and then my brother moved to London, and then when he came back, he was there for a few years, when, you know, he and his family came back from London, they moved, like, to the deep burbs of New Jersey. And then I was, uh, and then my sister ended up moving to the Burbs, and I thought, you know, I don't know. But then, truly, early in earlier in the year, now they were both still in the suburbs at the time. But er, you know, at that point, I said, you know, I just I do want to be closer, even though Boston and New York are not far away. I just felt like I was missing something, and maybe it's because I have you know two nieces and two nieces and three nephews. Um, you know, and I just want to be closer to everybody. So anyway, with much tears and a lot of lost sleep, I decided to leave my firm where I had been for over nine years. And in my whole career, I had never done that. I'm, I'm a steady Eddie. I had never done that without 
planning, not, I don't want to say planning, without already having my next job. But I decided in this case, you know, given the time I was thinking about it, I'm like, I'm going to take some time off. It's summertime and I'm going to give myself the whole summer to relax travel a little bit, which as you know I did. I took you along with me to Milan and to Lake Como and to South Carolina. And um, it also gave me the time to really think about and make sure I really wanted to move to New York, which I think you all know, even though we haven't had the very specific discussion, you've heard me talk about it, that I decided I'm moving to New York. And so basically the way I'm doing that is I'm not packing it in here entirely. I've rented an apartment short term, like a furnished rental in Manhattan. Um, I rented it for a couple months, but I can, I'm can i pretty sure I can extend it if I decide I want to. Um, but I want to spend a couple months there focusing on looking for a job. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. So I literally, I'm in Boston for just over a week now and then I'm gonna be hitting the road. And so I'm a little stressed because, well, for a number of reasons, I'm not big on like these huge life changes and there's a lot. Um, and I just have a lot to do around here to get myself ready. And so I've been cleaning out a lot of things and I really wanna clean out more because at whatever point that I actually really do move full time out of this apartment, I, I want to have it in such a way that it's not going to be a total like nightmare of an undertaking to pack. Like anything that I don't think I'm going to want to keep, I just want to get rid of now. So I really have another week to do that. <sighs> so basically all that I'm really moving um, next week is like, you know, wardrobe and essentials because the apartment I'm moving into will have everything else. Um, yeah, so I guess that's really it for my life update. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. Like yesterday I went to get my bangs trimmed and I was literally teary-eyed just saying goodbye to Patrice who's done my hair. And it's not like I'll never see her again, but you know, who knows? Maybe I won't. I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's crazy. So here I sit and I've got... <sighs> all sorts of like social stuff happening over the next week. You know, catching up with people that I want to catch up with before I go. Um, and you know, I just have stuff to do around here. So today I literally, I went to the gym this morning. I waited for the guy to come take my ACs out. They, I do a service where they bring them and put them in at the beginning of the year and take them out at the end of the summer. So I had to wait around for him. I took the Stella McCartney jacket to the tailor to have the sleeves shortened and then I've been futzing around. Like I finished my closet switch. I, you know, have been doing a little packing here and there, but I, I've got to, I've got to really focus on the packing. And then meanwhile, tomorrow, I'm supposed to be helping a friend of mine. He wants me to go furniture shopping with him. And I honestly, like, it's a mind cramp for me right now because I feel like I have my own stuff to do and I don't really feel like I have a half a day but I feel bad to bail on him. So I have to really think about that. Um, yeah. Anywho, so I'm meeting my friend Nicole tonight. We're gonna belly up to the bar at Grill 23 and have, you know, a cocktail or two and a bite. Um, and I guess that's the long and the short of it. Did I have anything else exciting to report? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, I will, um, I don't know, maybe that'll, I, will that be it for this little vlog? Maybe that'll just be the end of this. We'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, getting used to this new camera. So, it is Lissy. It is Saturday. I almost said November, but it's September 23rd. And I am on my way to my 20 year reunion from graduate school. Oh, it's a long time. So anyway, I, um, I honestly, the reason I thought I'd pop in is because I'm wearing this cute new Tory Burch skirt, which I will show you momentarily. Um, 
but let's see, what have I been up to? I've been, I've been busy organizing my life for my, I literally am um, doing my mini move next Saturday. So basically, next Saturday, I will get in, I'm renting a, like, I think I'm gonna rent a minivan. I'm gonna drive myself down to, well, I'm gonna drive myself to my sister's, stay overnight at her place Saturday, and then on Sunday, October 1st, I can get into my new little apartment, which I'm so excited about. And you guys will be so excited. I'll be so excited to show it to you because it's like, the only problem with the apartment is it's so gorgeous, I'm never gonna wanna leave, and it's a short-term rental. Um, and it's honestly like for, for a permanent rental, it's definitely more than I could spend. But for the couple months I was like, anyway, so I've been in a tizzy and a frenzy, like organizing myself and really not doing as well as I should, but trying to get rid of as much stuff. So when the eventuality of me literally like closing, like moving permanently out of this apartment, it'll be easier. Um, so anyway, so I've been also getting together with like lots of friends and colleagues before I go. Um, and even though this is like a short term rental in my mind, it's my long term move. Like I'm in my head, I'm set that this is what I want to do. I just wasn't ready to pull the trigger on the full move yet before I get down there and get situated and feel out like neighborhoods and feel out the job situation and all that. So, um, anyway, I am wearing, okay, at the moment I'm wearing this Anina Bing leather jacket, which quite frankly, I probably don't really need, because it got, yesterday it was like fall, it was like in the 50s, but today when I was out earlier, it got really warm, but it's been cool at night, and I'm wearing a short sleeve top, so I figured I would throw it on. So it's an Anina Bing leather jacket, um, a Marc Jacobs blouse, and then I'm wearing this, um, new Tory Burch skirt, and my um, Saint Laurent shoes. Is that like kind of a weird angle? I ha So I'm like, I have this new camera. It's on this little mini tripod, and I wanna be careful with it that the mini tripod doesn't topple over, because that's actually how I broke my old camera. Um, so yeah, these Saint Laurent shoes, and I'm going to wear my Gucci Marmont bag. Um, so that's the get up. And I really don't have any jewelry on. I figure with the bow blouse, I don't need a necklace, although I could still put one on. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll put on a bracelet or two. Um, a bunch of my stuff is like, sorry, I'm like, sorry about that. A bunch of my stuff is packed. I mean, kind of packed. It's all in reach. But um, just as I think of things, I'm putting them in, you know, boxes and stuff to take with me. So. I think that is the long and the short of it for now. Hello. Gosh, it is, um, I was going to say Wednesday, but it's Tuesday, September something. 20, 30, 29, 20, like, I don't know. 26 is the 26th. And I can't believe it, but I'm leaving Saturday for New York. Oh my God. It's just... It's weird. It's an end of a chapter of my life. You know, as I've told you already, I'm not moving out of this apartment permanently yet. Um, but in my head, like, this is the close of my Boston chapter and I'm opening my New York chapter. Wish me luck that I can find a good job there. Gosh, if I can find one here, I should definitely be able to find one there. Um, so I've just had like, you know, catching up with people and, you know, whatever. I had lunch with my two bosses ago today. Tomorrow morning I'm having breakfast with my most recent boss, the one at my most recent firm where I just left. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. I went to, I saw my trainer this morning and then I had Pilates this afternoon. And like when I left Pilates, I have been going to the same Pilates instructor I don't even know how many years, definitely over 10 years. So we both had like tears in our eyes. It's just really, it's really weird. I'm not really good with change and this is a lot of change for me at one time. 
So, anyway, I'm off to dinner shortly, and um, I thought I would show you I'm wearing this new Tory Burch dress. So I'm wearing the new Tory Burch dress with a couple Hermes bangles um, and just some Stuart Whites and sandals. It's been like summer out. It's been in the 80s, so I'm dressed for summer pretty much. Um, hold on, let me angle this down a little bit. Yeah, it's really cute, and I really, um, this is like actually an all-season dress because, you know, I can wear it in the summery weather like this, but I tried it on yesterday with, like, my Stuart Weitzman, um, Thailand boots, and it looks really cute, so I'm excited about that. And I guess that's really it. So I leave Saturday. My sister and brother are coming up Friday to help me. My sister told me today, she's like, be prepared for you're going to be made fun of because I rented a minivan and apparently nobody thinks I should need a mini. So as you know, I'm not moving my any furniture or anything like that. I'm moving temporarily for a few months into a furnished rental. So I'm really just moving personal effects and clothing, toiletries, you know, all that. But you know, when you love clothes as much as I do, and you're gonna be in a fashion city, you want to have options. So my sister's like, I'm just warning you, you're gonna be made fun of. Like apparently my brother's gonna make fun of me, my brother-in-law's gonna, nobody understands why I would need to rent a minivan to do all this. <laughs> but you know, I'm, you guys all get me. I know you do. Um, honestly, I'm surprised I don't need more than a minivan. <laughs> so, I feel like I was just gonna say something else and I cannot recall what. But that's it. I will be back to you soon. Bye.